Hello everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for today's Rural Outreach and Innovation Talk, which is brought to you as part of the European Microfinance Platform. During these ROI Talks, as we like to call them, we like to showcase the latest trends in rural development by sharing different ideas, experiences, and, and various inspirational stories. Today, we are fortunate to be joined by Marina Cordenbush, who is the head of the ROI Action Group and also a founding business partner at Business and Finance Consulting which is also known as BFC. Today, Marina is going to be speaking to us about building green communities within the context of microfinance. Uh, Marina has over 20 years of business experience and a PhD in environmental education. She has a drive to develop innovative solutions to deep-seated educational and business challenges. Marina, thank you very much for being with us today and preparing this presentation. Please feel free to begin whenever you're ready. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being with us today and for your interest in green communities. This is the picture of my family with our homegrown kale. My family are my strongest green community, both personally and professionally. While implementing microfinance projects, we often focus on tools for making financial institutions more efficient. Providing financial literacy training, developing solutions for sustainable lending, and so on and so on. But with all the success stories we have seen over the last 20 years, are we giving enough consideration to microfinances, environmental questions, and particularly corporate health? What about personal well-being, work life and energy balance? Are there options for flexible working hours? Do we trust our staff? Or do we need to develop more tools for controlling working time and output? What corporate health indicators could we use? Are our businesses protecting the environment or disturbing it? In field visits to microfinance organizations, you would often find unhealthy working habits. People not taking breaks, not eating healthily, and becoming chronically stressed. Reflecting on this several years ago, we decided to update BFC's approach to sustainability and the environment. First, I started with myself, auditing my own lifestyle, then going on to include my family and friends. We became local green activists in our free time, participating in local green communities and ecological farming group. We implemented this experience throughout our entire company, eventually spreading to clients and partners and improving our day-to-day -day business operations. Around the world, there are so many green success stories from green communities. We decided that we should try to connect with them. To achieve this, we created BFC Green, an online platform for networking between green communities and businesses. This platform is designed for long-term learning and sharing experience. The platform also acts as a library for valuable information with contact across three languages, English, Russian, and German. For daily communication and engagement, we use a public Facebook group called iShare. We like to provide tips and tricks, sharing and learning from others and promoting sustainable and healthy lifestyles. The overall goal of our green community is to inspire participants and attract others to engage with this corporate health trend and personal well-being. When building a green community, it's important that the process is enjoyable. 
that there aren't expectations of big results quickly and that everybody feels welcome. One of our favorite methods is business gamification. Let me give you an example. We playfully named 2017 the year of kale. This game began with New Year cards, which BC sent out to 250 of its partners and clients. Each card came with a pack of kale seeds, instructions for growing kale and recipes for making tasty salads. Then this spring, we started the kale online gallery with photos being submitted by participants from around the world. This has generated a lot of engagement and positive emotions. This simple game is encouraging people to think about what we are growing in their gardens and helping us to communicate about these topics with like-minded people. Throughout this year, we have been part of our own green value chain, growing, processing, and consuming our own organic food. I love my free jobs as a manager, as an organic farmer, and as a cook. And this year, it was very enjoyable to share our experiences with Nehru de Toscana Kale. For us, are important the questions. Are my seeds and heirloom variety? Can I be more self-sustainable? Can I make healthy food easily? BFC's other business games cover topics such as social gardening, zero waste, self-sustainability, and an exciting art project for kids called Ethics Meets Aesthetics. What tools do we use? Videos, podcasts, workshops, in the future, the Corporate Health Index. We are very proud of our workshops on making raw vegan chocolate and tasty meals from wild plants. Please feel free to contact me with any questions. I would love to speak more to you about any of these topics. It would be great if you could share your own sustainable experiences. Or maybe join our Green Games on the Facebook iShare group. So, come along, join in, and share your experiences. Well, uh, thank you very much, for Marina, for that uh, interesting presentation. Um, I'm going to open up the floor if anybody has any questions for you. But um, first, I want to get the first question is because I think that's uh, my priority as moderator here. Do you find it difficult to coordinate everything with BFC Green internationally, given that we have offices in different locations around the world? I mean, is it difficult to get everyone on the same page? Thank you very much. It's a challenge, yes. And this year, we're starting a Facebook group and sharing uh, the information. It became more feedback because sometimes last year you provide some information or playing some games, but it's like silent. You, you're not sure is it really any exchange or any people who is following you. But with likes on Facebook and even on uh, through this simple channel, this year I, I believe this game it was my favorite game with Kale, and I really got um, in more inspiration support. It was so funny to see, like, oh, somebody posted from Ukraine the uh, picture of rare kale or in other countries. And this is definitely a challenge, but uh, you have to be patient and you have to be, like, you have belief it's really, it's important for everyone. Just some people need more time, some people make it very quickly and really with you and it takes time but uh, you have all this like an activist a small group of activists and they're very active and you have some um, more like watching group passive group but still there and I'm, I'm sure they're also active and just watching and learning also from it and quite often coming with many questions 
Is there also a plan to start promoting healthy mind activities, for example, those that combat the effects of aging? We have many topics, and my favorite topic really, I'm a patient for cooking, for growing food, and that's why maybe I'm leading these games, yes. But even if others say this is my hobby, my patient for other topics, or maybe cycling, or maybe hiking, or exercise, it will be great just to share it, yes, and maybe others will be part of other games. I believe we can play like uh, hundreds of small games. They could be really very short, very long, but every game will bring to some learning moments and at the same time sharing, and we will have more leaders in our green community. Just for us, we used to be very successful, I would say, with microfinance uh, organizations many years with a value chain finance. And we started parallel to, to make like green value chain finance or just health finance, yes. It's, it's again about green, yes, to grow something, to see what's, what's really the quality of the seeds. And then some logical came to us, yes, during this. It's not like financial models, it's really about your personal, what's, what you are eat, what, what you do. This, this was logical, but definitely we are open for any new other value chains, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I guess it's interesting, you know, and I, I see that a lot of that too with people coming with different interests and um, having presentations on those and all those sorts of wonderful fun things. That... And my last question today is, what is the biggest lesson you've learned from BFC Green? Maybe several years ago, uh, I was more focused like this is my free time, then I can do like something like healthy things and so on, but I need to focus in my working hours on my like task, and so it was like separated. And beginning with green community, with our iShare group and uh, BC Green website, I understood it was like something like synergy. It's something like uh, came to me, this is my job, or something that you can integrate, like to make synthesis between your accounting task, admin task, and this ecological tools or something, activities, something to create, to design your working day in a more healthy way and actually for it doesn't need any additional money and just your mind and your uh, feeling that your person, every day you are feeling really happy after the work and uh, with these interesting games or tools and to bring, of course, more positive emotions. This, this tool or this green community communication and so they bring so many emotions and so many positive energy and I think if everybody in our company and even in other companies will try to integrate in it and even um, just to communicate and, in, and this is also a very important trust model just to trust people but if we are on Facebook during working hours it's it's also just you can limit it. You can also like making some breaks and or just during two hours on computer work you go jogging and even it's something to change some uh, mentality about working expectation in office. This is I believe the greatest lessons learned and this is also my way yes to my healthier lifestyle. But it takes time, and uh, it's a very how to say it's 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 lovely way. But you have to go this way to everybody, I believe. Yes. And what's important, we do a lot with kids. We're trying to teach our kids, especially learn it. Just not focus on learn one task. Just see this emotional balance. Uh, and uh, during school, and uh, even I believe this is ABC of life. Yes. Thank you, Marina, for answering all my questions. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. Uh, I wanted to thank everyone once again for making the time to join us today or for watching the presentation later. And a special thank you to Marina for preparing this thoughtful and insightful presentation. Uh, I found it very interesting, and, I, and I'm sure you guys did as well. Uh, I just wanted to remind everyone that the Rural Outreach and Innovation Talks will continue on October 26th when Justin McCauley of Vision Fund will speak to us about loan automation and using technology to tailor microfinance.
We certainly hope that you'll be able to join us for this talk as well. Thank you once again and have a fantastic rest of your day.